Well, Tokes, this is certainly a significant development. The decision by Facebook to suspend the former United States President Donald Trump from their platforms has been upheld. Their decision to remove his access to his Facebook and Instagram profiles, accounts where he had million followers, their decision to suspend him from those has been upheld. But Facebook has also been told to review its decision to make the suspension indefinite. And they've got now six months to work out what policies they can implement when it comes to the former US president. This all comes in a decision from Facebook's oversight board. I want to take you through some of the wording of their decision that they have here. As you can see, the board here upholding that decision to suspend Donald Trump. But they say further on in this statement, it was not appropriate for Facebook to make this in suspension indeterminate and standardless. This is concerning when it comes to other Facebook users. In this judgment by Facebook's oversight board, they note that their normal penalties on the company comes to removing violative content or imposing a time bound period of suspension. Facebook didn't do this when it came to Donald Trump. This suspension from their platforms was indefinite and therefore the oversight board have told Facebook to review this decision. Here saying that they insist that Facebook must review this matter to determine and justify a proportionate response that is consistent with their rules which are applied to other users. Essentially here the oversight board saying that Facebook should treat Donald Trump like every other Facebook user, like every other billions of users that there are on Facebook right the way around the world. And Facebook now has six months to review this matter. So until that time, it appears that Donald Trump will remain suspended on that platform. It's certainly a two-worded response, what we were not expecting perhaps from Facebook's oversight board. But let's break down a little bit of context as exactly what led to this decision. Facebook initially suspended Donald Trump following the deadly insurrection of the US Capitol building back on January the 6th. After months of both Trump and his allies using these platforms, using Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and others to dispel and share false information about the US election, this, the Capitol building in Washington DC was stormed by a number of Donald Trump supporters, leading to the deaths of five people. Now, hours after that insurrection began, Donald Trump initially posted two posts on Facebook which violated their policies. The first of these was a video in which he urged his supporters to go home and also, though, expressing understanding as to why they were protesting. A second post essentially being the text to the same idea. Now, Facebook said that those two posts in particular had violated their policies and that Donald Trump had incited violence. In a blog post, the CEO of Facebook, Mark Zuckerberg, said on January the 7th, one day after that insurrection, that it was clear to Facebook that Donald Trump intended to use his remaining time in office to undermine the peaceful and lawful transition of power to his successor, Joe Biden. And until Joe Biden brought into power, it did not seem right to them that Donald Trump should remain on their platforms. They initially handed this decision of his suspension, though, over to the oversight board. And we now know, Tokes, that while Facebook's decision to suspend Donald Trump has been upheld, they also now, the company, must review that decision and work out a proportionate response and not make the suspension indefinite.